Lesson 16.1c, Measures of Center, Comparing the Mean and the Median. The mean and median of a data set may be equal, very close to each other, or very different from each other. For data sets where the mean and median differ greatly, one likely describes the data set better than the other. So for a quick review, to find a mean, we divide the sum of the data values by the amount of data values. If the data values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we add them up. 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. We get 15. There are five numbers in the set. We divide the 15 by that 5, and 3 would be our mean or average. And to find a median, we first make sure that the numbers are in order from least to greatest or greatest to least, and the center number is the median. So if our data values were a 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, this is the center number. It's the third number out of 5. That's the median. It's directly in the middle. So this is comparing the mean and median of a data set. Here's our data set. We've got 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 54. For the mean, we would add these digits and get 108. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that we added, so we divide the 108 by 6, we get 18. For the median, well, we look at these six digits. We have two digits on this side of the center and two digits on this side of the center. We have an 11 and 12 in the middle. And because there's two numbers in the middle, we're going to add them together and we're going to get a 23. And because we added two numbers together, we're going to divide the 23 by 2. We're going to get an 11 and 5 tenths, 11 and a half. Now, in this case, the median best describes the data. If you look at these numbers, they're all around 11 or 11 and a half. It's this 54 that's way larger than the other numbers. It's way greater, right? So. The median best describes the data, 11 and a half. The mean is 18 and the median is 11 and a half. The mean is greater because it's affected by the value of that 54 and is larger than the central numbers in the data. The central numbers are an 11 and a 12, and here we've got this 54. This mean is greater than all of the data values except 54. So in this case, the data set is best described by the median. When the values in a data set have a great difference, the mean and median will have a great difference. If you look at these values, we have a 3, 4, 4, 5, 6. They're all pretty close to each other. Then we've got this 29. The mean, we add up these values, and because there's six values, we divide it by 6. We get a 51 divided by 6. That gives us a mean of 8 and 5 tenths, 8 and a half. The median, we look here, we've got two digits on this side, two digits on this side, so we have a 4 and a 5 in the middle. We add the 4 plus 5 and get a 9, and because we added the two numbers together, we're going to divide it by that 2. We get 4 and 5 tenths. So because of this 29, and there was such a great difference of values, the value for the mean and the value for the median have a great difference. This table shows Ben's earnings from mowing lawns. So it's going for the months from April to August and how much he earned. Compare the mean and median of his earnings. Now if you look, they're pretty close together, aren't they? The amounts, we add 45 plus 46 plus 47 plus 48 plus 49. And because we have five sets of data, we're going to divide it by five. We get 235 divided by five, which is a mean, an average of $47 a month. And if we do the median, it's already in order from least to greatest. The median would be the center number. It would be 47. So in this case, the data values are about the same amount, so the mean and median are equal. When the values in a data set are similar or close to each other, the mean and median will be close to each other or equal. We have these numbers in the data set that are all pretty close to each other. When we find the mean, 
we get 25 divided by, there's five numbers here, we get a five for our mean. And if we look at the center number, we have a five. So because these numbers were pretty close to each other, we ended up with an equal mean and median. For this data set, because we had this number 29 way over here, that made the mean and median farther apart from each other in value. We're finished with lesson 16.1. We're going to move on to 16.2, which is split into three parts. The next lesson is understanding the mean absolute deviation. It's also called MAD. Have a great day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.